stay. Hey, just stay. Welcome to stay. this update video of Helios. So I'm going to share with you guys some clips over some different training times. So this is Mr. Helios. This is how he spends a good portion of some of our training sessions because he will stand on a pedestal or a bridge or something very patiently while Helios. I help Allie with s'mores and coach her through hey, a little bit. look at me, buddy. So he has learned to be hey, a very Allie, come ride up and stylish man. Beside Helios and then I can get a picture handsome. of them together. We managed to get Although it will make s'mores look really, really small. Out, and he's looking... <laughs> pretty darn cute now so that's really, uh, really good Stay. news for him he's a very very sweet boy so uh here's s'mores and helios side by side so you can kind of see them and uh see what they look like compared to each other so we've got them both going in the western saddles to start Stay. with we intend to do English with them, English saddles as well. I find that the Western Don't saddles stand. are better to start the horses there in because boy. they're a little bit heavier and they've got little straps that fly around on them. So if they can handle a Western saddle, then an English saddle is no problemo, oh, easy so to cute. switch to. So here we're going to take a little look at Helios. This is his first ever ride which is very exciting so we're right now we're just doing some mounting work practicing sitting on him so this is the first thing that i tend to do with my horses at the mounting block is just practice sitting and quickly getting off before they can have a negative reaction so we're trying to have them have uh, positive associations with a human on their back and learning to take that cookie from when the human's on their back so that way they can kind of associate all those good feelings and yes mentality while we are on their back and not just from the ground so you can see he's figuring this out pretty quickly and we don't progress to actually moving forward at all until they're comfortable with this step of just being able to sit at the mounting block so for me having a horse that stands really quietly to mount and to be on is so important and one of the first things that i kind of instill in my horses when we're training them under saddle and if he couldn't stand at the mounting block, then that would be addressed first before we go on to do any of the other fancier stuff. So uh, practicing guiding him up to that mounting block, bringing him forward where I'd like him to be, and making sure that he is aware I'm going to get on, and then sliding on into position and rewarding him for just being chill about it and not caring and you can see he's pretty eager to get his cookies even with me on his back so he's figured that out pretty quickly and the other nice thing about that is he's getting that bending and stretching in his body which is good for relaxation and just good for his flexibility so once we've done that enough times that i feel like the horse is totally aware and totally comfortable with everything's going on then we start to try to actually move forwards and just like how I show you guys with s'mores, I kind of get them to go forward by a balance of kind of turning right and left a little bit, as well as using the uh, verbal cues to cue them to go forward. I don't tend to use my legs really all that much in the first ride, and I slowly introduce them after that, because I just don't want them getting claustrophobic or overwhelmed, feeling like they're trapped in. So I want to give them a, a kind of a relaxed feeling about the whole process. I know I mentioned in the video with s'mores that our goal is for these horses never to even imagine bucking a rider off or uh, getting in that spot where they want to get rid of us or anything like that. We just don't even want that to be a place where they even contemplate going because it's going to make for a much nicer experience for both of us if we can avoid all the dangerous behavior and instead just focus on figuring out the puzzles that I give him and and being rewarded for figuring out those puzzles. It's a much nicer way to put it all together I think. So here are his first little steps uh, and I'm using the bareback pad on him. Just lets me feel him a little bit better and lets me slide off his back really easily if I need to. But these are his first little steps. Totally uneventful. Uh, he's kind of thinking about where I want him to go. And he just kind of, you know, <laughs> he's like, okay, I understand I can get a cookie while you're on my back. And that's a good thing. Uh, so he just kind of, you know, moseys really quietly around and 
isn't in a hurry to go anywhere. So this is looking really good. And I don't do a whole lot in those first little rides. It's all about building up positive experiences for them. But then afterwards, they start to progress really, really quickly. So it didn't take long before I felt really relaxed with him. Uh, I know I showed you just clips of his first ride. I'm going to show you another video of him later on in a different segment of him trail riding and stuff. But uh, I felt like he's quiet and at the place where we could give Evelyn a little pony ride. So Evelyn actually likes Helios better than S'mores. In S'mores video, Evelyn also got to have a pony ride on S'mores. But she started crying on the on the second part of our... All we're doing is just going for a little pony ride down and back. And she started to cry, so I took her off. But on Helios, she was happy the whole way down and back. So I don't know if that means that she prefers Helios... Uh, I don't know, could, I was probably just was getting grumpy towards the end of s'mores, but uh, Helios was so good. He just, you know, walks nice and slowly, could care less that I'm holding something above him. And of course, I never let go of Evelyn. So that way, if something does happen, I've, I'm literally holding her the entire time. But of course, he's just like, yeah, whatever, you know, if I could eat some grass along the way, that'd be pretty nice. But he's very sweet boy. And uh, doesn't care, doesn't do anything, and is just easy going about the whole thing. So we're definitely in love with this little fella. You can see how good he's looking now too. No, no mud spots on his side, uh, and that's just using the Espana Silk natural grooming products. We hasn't, we haven't had a chance to bathe him yet. It hasn't been warm enough, but uh, we were using the products and being able to brush it off. So we're finishing up with some snuggles with Helios. And uh, I'm pretty excited for him. He's very, very sweet. Definitely tempted to keep him for Evelyn. <laughs> he's being a little, little silly guy wanting to scratch on us there. But let me know what you think he's going to be well suited for. Uh, I think he's a special little horse with lots of potential to do a lot of different things. And uh, I'm excited to show you guys more as we get going. So thanks for watching, guys, and bye for now.